Hey, welcome back everybody. We are sorting with our sortable. In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at accessibility and keyboard support with our sortable, which currently is a big issue. You will notice if I were to place my cursor into the uh, focus of our window here, if I press the tab key, the first element in our application that receives keyboard focus is the JSON text area input down here, which means that for keyboard users, our sortable component is basically inaccessible. I cannot do anything with it as a keyboard user, I can only make our sortable function using a pointing device, like a touchscreen or a mouse uh, with a cursor. And that could potentially be a really big accessibility issue for users that are visually impaired or anyone that is primarily using a keyboard to actually interact with an application. And the reason being because all of our functionality for our sortable component is currently tied to the drag start and drag end events. And there's no way to create those events purely from a keyboard that can really only occur from a pointing device which works great for visual users. So this is, you know, this is awesome as a visual user, but as soon as I try to use the keyboard to do this stuff, I, I simply can't do it. I just cannot uh, fire off a, um, a, a, a drag start event just using the keyboard. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our sortable itself can receive keyboard focus, because that's the first step. It's really important to do that. And there is an attribute that you can add to any HTML element inside of your HTML that's called tab index. And so this is actually what allows you to uh, control how the element receives keyboard focus. And there's a couple different values you can provide to this. There's an MDN article that talks about it, but basically uh, by default, the only things that can receive keyboard focus in your application are things like buttons, links, um, form controls and, and inputs, stuff like that. Uh, but by default, things like list items and divs and paragraphs, they cannot receive keyboard focus. So when you press tab, it's gonna skip right over them, which is the reason why our list items that we've attached this drag and drop functionality to are not currently receiving that keyboard focus. And you can change that using this tab index attribute. And as an example, I could add tab index equals zero to all of these list items. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice over here when I press tab, I can actually set my keyboard focus to each of those list items. And that's great, that's the first step. We wanna make sure they get keyboard focus, but I still can't do anything with them, right? Even though I can receive keyboard focus if I press enter or space or whatever, it doesn't do anything. All it's doing is it's allowing me to tab in to that particular element that I specified as tab index zero. And for us to actually generate the functionality to allow keyboard users to utilize our sortable component, what we're gonna have to do is in our component class, we're gonna create a key down listener, just like we did with our dropdown and our toggle component in previous lessons and we're basically gonna say, when the user presses this key, then let's do this. And when they press this key, let's do this. We're, we're gonna kind of recreate that functionality that we've already done for visual users where you can pick things up and move them around, but we're gonna recreate that for uh, visually impaired or keyboard users so they can do the same thing using only their keyboard. So let's take a look at that. We'll jump into our sortable.js. Let's go to the uh, top of our file here. Let's find our init, class, our init method right here, our initialize method where we are adding our event listeners. And let's create a new one of these that we're gonna uh, assign to the key down event. So we're gonna do a document add event listener key down, and then we'll create a new method on this class called key down that we're gonna pass this event to, just like we did with our toggle component. So let's, uh, now that we've added that, let's go down to the bottom of our file. We will create a key down event, which will accept E and let's say, uh, let me scroll down a bit here so you can see this. Keyboard event um, is gonna be the key down event and this will be the, uh, whoops, key down listener. And the first thing we wanna make sure, because this is a global key down uh, listener, it's gonna happen on all key downs. We wanna make sure that the keyboard focus is on something we actually care about. So let's create a, a quick filter line here like we normally do. So we can say this is not a uh, data sortable or whatever. Uh, if e.target.matches, not targer, target. So if e.target does not match, uh, attribute selector of this.config.attr, 
then let's simply return because it we're not the the data sortable does not have keyboard focus so we don't care about this key down event but if it does have keyboard focus then let's continue into this method and uh, this is where we need to decide what we want to do right we want to decide hey what key are we going to hit to do what um, how do we want this to work and generally with a sortable component or any component where you can sort of pick something up and then drop it and move it around is keyboard users are going to expect to use something like enter or the space bar to actually do the picking up and the dropping and they're going to expect to use the arrow keys to do the moving around so what we want to do is we want to say when you press space bar let's pick something up just like a, a pointing device would pick it up using the drag gesture. And then when you use the arrow keys, let's move it down or up or wherever you press the arrow keys. And then if you uh, press the space bar again, it's going to drop it. Um, and it's gonna emulate the same functionality we already have. We're just gonna do it uh, in the key down uh, listener as opposed to the those drag listeners that we already created. So I already have the key code info thing open. If you press the space bar, you'll notice event.key is just equal to the space character itself. Um, so we can utilize that to check. So let's say uh, grab slash drop on space bar. So if e.key is equal to space, then let's e.prevent default. Uh, the spacebar does do paging by default. If nothing has keyboard focus, so you want to make sure you prevent uh, that page down event from occurring, that default event. And then again, we're either going to grab or drop using the space bar. So uh, that's pretty easy to determine which one we want to do because we can uh, basically look at the state of our component. And if this dot state dot dragging element is falsy, that means we're not currently dragging. So we can say uh, grab. So if that's falsy, then where we're about to grab else, um, this is going to be a drop. Right, so that's kind of our basic if statement. If this dragging element is uh, falsy, let's grab whatever element has keyboard focus. Otherwise, let's drop whatever element has keyboard focus. Now, inside of this if statement, this if else, we could do all sorts of stuff. Lots of different ways you could approach this. You could have multiple methods to handle this, which is kind of what we did with our toggle, um, all kinds of stuff. But if you actually look at it, we've kind of already created all this functionality that we need. If you scroll up to our start method, first of all, the start method is how the drag start event handles basically picking up a sortable. If it's a sortable, then let's save the dragging element, save the sortable list, etc. But it's basically running all of this stuff off of e.target. E.target is basically the only thing that is used from this drag event that is passed into start, uh, which is also going to be available on a key keyboard event as well. E.target is going to be whatever element has keyboard focus. And not only that, but we're actually already doing the filtering for not a sortable here. Um, so what we could simply do with our uh, keyboard event is we could pass its event to this start method and it's going to do all the stuff it needs to do to pick up a thing. So the, so basically we're going to be calling the same method whether you're using a pointing device to pick it up or if you're using the space bar and the keyboard to pick it up. So we'll just call this.start and we'll pass in the keyboard event and it's going to do the exact same thing it was doing before. Sorry for all this scrolling. Our, our component is getting complex this time around, right? So lots of scrolling up and down, uh, which I know can be disorienting. Uh, but I am in the key down event or the <laughs> event. Goodness, I gotta straighten my, my head out here. I'm in the key down method of our class here. And if we are grabbing whatever element currently has keyboard focus, we can simply call this.start and pass in our keyboard event, which again is gonna have an event.target, so it's gonna do all the stuff it needs to do. And likewise, if we are dropping, we can call this.end and pass in our keyboard event there as well. And you'll notice now that we've implemented that, I can tab to the waffles, I can hit the space bar, and you'll see it is just like if we were initiating this using a drag with a, a pointing device. You'll notice we have an active drag class on the waffles. We have dragging on the div class of sortable. And if I hit the space bar again while that has keyboard focus, it's the same thing as a drop, right? It's taking those classes off. Uh, and the only thing that's left is we need to make it so I can use the arrow keys right now to actually move that item up and down. And again, we've already kind of already created that functionality because if you remember, we created a sort method, which is handling this uh, sorting when you move things up and down. So what we can do is uh, in this key down listener down here, we can say else if 
e dot key is equal to and if you remember from doing our, our toggles uh, there's arrow up and arrow down so the arrows on your keyboard are those respectively and so what we could do is uh, in here we could say if e dot key is equal to arrow up or e dot key is equal to arrow down uh, then we're going to sort on up slash down arrows but you also want to make sure that when you press the up and down key uh, and you have focus on a data sortable that um, you actually have picked something up right because you don't want to try to sort on up and down unless you've actually um, you've grabbed an element like if i just hit up and down like here right now i don't want to like sort pizza up and down i only want to sort it when it's been picked up when it turns green it's been grabbed now i can move it up and down uh, and then when you release that or you drop it up and down uh, shouldn't actually do the sorting so let's also make sure that this dot state dot dragging element is truthy uh, meaning that we have picked something up and you have used the up or down key so if you are you have something that you've grabbed you're using up and down then this is where we want to uh, e dot prevent default prevent the scroll that would occur by default and then basically the sort method which is right up here accepts a target right and the target is the target over which the current draggable is held so we could simply call this dot sort and give it either the whenever you have keyboard focus you're either going to move it up so you're going to get the previous sibling burritos in this case or you're going to get the next sibling which would be hot dogs so you're um, the target that you're sorting to is either going to be the previous sibling or the next sibling and we can get that inside of our key down listener so let's say get target element const target equals e dot target uh, and that's either again it's going to either be previous element sibling or it's going to be next element sibling and we can change this to a ternary operator using uh, the uh, square bracket and then we can say if e dot key is equal to arrow arrow up so if you pressed the up key then you're going to get the previous sibling right because uh, if you press up and you're selected on pizza the previous html element is burritos so if you pressed up uh, then let's get previous element sibling otherwise get the next element sibling and then we will sort if the target is found because potentially target could be null because if you press down on broccoli right there is no next element sibling so we need to make sure that we check if target is truthy and if it is truthy let's just call this dot this dot sort target right so we're going to call that same sort method that's being called from the drag move event but in this case we're calling it from the key down listener and now if we save you will notice i can tab to waffles i can hit the space bar to select it and if i hit the up key it will actually run that sort on waffles and waffles is still grabbed it's basically the mimicking the same thing that happens with a pointer device it's just doing it through a keyboard now the only weird thing with this is you'll notice that waffles lost keyboard focus when we did that um, and now I have to hit tab again and kind of go find it and now I can sort it but again that blue border disappeared it actually lost keyboard focus and the reason is because if you remember in our sort method it actually deletes the element that you're dragging and then it adds it again in a new position but it, it technically it's creating a whole new element so what we want to do is right after we sort we want to go get the new dragging element and we want to focus on it so focus on new dragging element and we'll say this dot state dot dragging element dot focus and with that in place we can now grab our waffles and we can keep moving up and down because we're maintaining keyboard focus on the element as it's being deleted and recreated and that's working great i'll hit space to drop it and everything's wonderful now there's one further improvement i would suggest here uh, and that is that i would kind of expect that when you drop an element but then you're using the keyboard arrows uh, you don't have to use tab and shift tab. You should actually be able to use the arrows to navigate up and down, sort of like we did with our, uh, like when we did our, our drop downs, we had that idea of getting the next focusable and the previous focusable. Um, so that's easy enough to do because what we could do is basically say uh, we could add another else if, um, and we could use this same if statement right here. So if you press the up or the down key, but in this case, if there is no dragging element, then we are going to navigate on up slash down arrows 
And that's gonna kinda do the same thing we did here where we got either the previous or the next element sibling. But instead of sorting, when we find, uh, oh, and I need to make sure we e.prevent default here too. Uh, but instead of sorting, when uh, we find, if we find a target, uh, and let's actually rename this to get next focusable. So let's rename that to focusable. And so if uh, the focusable is found, then let's just say focusable.focus, like so. And then that way, uh, if you have keyboard focus in here, you're picking up, you're sorting, you're doing your thing, but then you drop an element, the arrows will allow you to actually navigate as well without using tab and shift tab. And again, that's just kind of a convenience. I think it's something that users would come to expect and it's definitely gonna be something that you may want to add to your sortable. And just like that, we added all the keyboard events and all of the keyboard functionality that we would need to allow keyboard users to utilize our uh, our sortable component that we have built. And it's now gonna work both for pointing devices. I can use our drag events to reorder this, or I can use the keyboard to do the exact same thing, which is gonna work great across a wide variety of users. And certainly, of course, this is the way you want to build your components so that they are very accessible and usable by just about anybody that's gonna interact with them.